Greetings, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Madness Interactive Reloaded. For this video, I've installed three mods that I wanted to showcase. I was scrolling through the Studio Minus Discord and noticed that there have been a lot of mods for Madness Interactive Reloaded that have been posted in the, the Discord server's kind of workshop thread that they have. So I picked out three that looked really interesting, and I'm going to play them here for you today. And you'll get my live reaction and, I guess, sort of review. Um, so all of them are campaigns. Uh, we have Weakness, The Classic Arena, and Infiltrator. Uh, Infiltrator only has six. This has eight. And Weakness has 13. So I think we'll save Weakness for last. And I think we'll start with Classic Arena. I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like. I guess there's not really going to be uh, any skills or, or shops to speak of. We'll just kind of just kind of fight through, I guess. I already look like Hank. Maybe I should have made my character look like a grunt for this. I like how one guy randomly had a knife and nobody else does. I don't know why I dropped it. I'm an idiot. Where's the last guy? Oh, he also had a knife. Nice. Alright, uh, next arena, I guess. I, I guess I don't actually have to press the button, do I? Give gun. Me want gun. Okay, we got some agents. Not exactly accurate to the original uh, Nexus Classic, but who cares? It's fun. Also, nice uh, line there. Not sure what's causing that. I wonder how many waves this developer intends on uh, on adding. Okay, almost out of bullets. A Colt revolver. I think this is a new gun. I don't remember this one being in the game before. All right, another wave. Ooh, that guy had a deagle. I want it. Okay. That guy was really mad I shot him in the face. I would be too, honestly. Ooh, an assault rifle. I want it. No, I want it. I'll pick it up eventually. There we go. Oh, I get to start the uh, the next wave with an assault rifle. And there's another one waiting for me. Several waiting for me. I gotta say, it's nice to be able to fight in such an open area like this. Ooh, that guy got flung. I don't really know why, but he did. I kind of wish the enemies showed up at a uh, higher rate. Things feel a little slow at the moment. Oh, uh, do I walk through here? Or, or no, oh, I, I guess it just took a minute. All right, wave five. I was about to say we should start seeing some engineers, so this might actually start getting a little difficult. Okay, we're done. 
get an assault rifle for the next wave and uh, keep, keep the train rolling I guess The M73. Ain't that one of them revolvers that can actually be uh, silenced? Because there's no gap between the uh, the barrel and the, um, the cylinder, like there is in most revolvers. Or am I, am I thinking of another one? A lot of revolvers. I'm starting to feel like I should have dressed up as a sheriff <laughs> with all these with all these revolvers I'm using. Okay. So I kind of figured out that the level doesn't actually progress until you walk into the middle door. Uh, oh, are we doing Zed mode now? Oh, oh, that's an interesting looking zombie. I don't think I've actually fought zombies in, uh, in Mer before. I don't know how this is going to go. I might actually die here. So maybe don't waste all of my bullets. This might actually be pretty difficult, because these guys seem to not really take much melee damage. Come on, die. And finally, I got one of them. But now I might die anyway, because... I mean, I guess if I just walk back and forth and spam left-click, something will happen. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's 2,000 zombies that I have to kill. <laughs> so, um, needless to say, I might be a little screwed here. <laughs> I just realized the enemy counter in the, uh, in the top right. And I'm only, if I had, like, a sword or something, I, I might be able to actually kind of, like, go, go far with this. But I don't think so. So I think I would just accept my, my fate. And, and be torn apart by zombies. All right, fine. Choke on them. Choke on them. I have died it. And I think that does it for that campaign. That was pretty fun. Um, it's kind of like a proof of concept of what arena mode could potentially look like in this. That was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that for what it was. It's just, uh, I'm sure the developer has probably already heard it, I just wish there was a little bit more to it. Like, I wish I could go into the shop and buy weapons, get armor, get stats and stuff. But obviously, those features just don't exist in this game yet. So, uh, understandably, it is a product of the limitations that have been placed upon it. So, overall, my verdict is, is that it was overall pretty fun. Um, and I don't really knock it too much for being a very limited experience and, and only really kind of loosely emulating what arena mode had to offer because it just kind of can't do anything else and and that's not its fault that is just the it is representative of where the modding community is uh in this moment and that is only really being able to do kind of like pseudo representatives of these ideas which i'm sure eventually will be improved with time but let's jump into the next mod, which is Infiltrator. This one's only six levels. So you've got six levels to be able to impress me. You have this guy getting the, the crap beat out of him. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm also here to uh, beat the crap out of you, so.
Okay, one more guy. Uh, I will, in fact, take the pipe. I like the pipe. I love the pipe. I kind of want that machete, though. Ooh, a gun. Okay, never mind. The guy mag dumped into me <laughs> and missed every shot, so I guess I don't get to use that. I must say this does just kind of feel like one of those little ventures that Hank would just kind of go on. Uh, he would just kind of infiltrate some random gang hideout and, and just start causing problems. I want that scorpion. Give. That guy looks like Sanford. Sorry, Sanford. I might have ended you a little early. Oh, never mind, he had clones. It's fine. Also, notice there's no enemy counter here. Oh, I have to survive for 30 seconds. Okay. Just saw that on the wall. Fine by me. Oh, am I, am I good to go? Okay. Uh, let's search around for guns. I think this FBI 10 I will use. This way? Or, or should... I'm not sure what that arrow and exclamation point mean just yet. I'm sure I will in due time. Oh, you guys take a lot of hits. Can I pick up this Bren gun? Yeah, I can. It only had three bullets in it, though. Very sad. I see a certain very iconic looking axe. Now I just need a P90 to go with it. Who said you're allowed to block? They should be fired. I kinda wish there was a way to break enemy blocks with like a uh with a heavy attack or something. Just gonna mag dump into that general direction. Evidently, it seems to have worked out. I was really hoping there would be somebody down there. Oh, there is. Did you eat all of my bullets? How rude. How rude! Alright, buddy, come on. This is starting to take a little while, and uh, I got places to be. Are there any other guns? There's a Luger. There we go. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And that was it. Okay, that was a pretty fun little campaign, honestly. I, I enjoyed that, honestly, a bit more than the arena. I, I enjoyed just kind of how it flowed. My, my only real complaint, uh, or, or criticism, I guess, is that I, I just kind of wish there was more of it. I, like, make that like a 20 level campaign, and it would be really, really fun. Um, and it's just kind of my verdict on that. And uh, the last one we have is Weakness. This is a 13 level campaign, and I think you're supposed to be playing as, like, Madness 3 Hank here. So I'm actually going to go make my character look the part. Alright, I am bandaged up and ready to go. Weakness. Hi there folks, voiceover Zep here, just coming in to say that in order to get through this campaign experience, I actually ended up having to enable a couple cheats, those being the Wick and Armstrong cheats. All those cheats really do is just enable your durability, basically give you a bit more attack bar, and increase the speed of your melee attacks, and that is what I ended up doing. Um, no, no real fault of the actual mod itself. I honestly think I was just having a pretty bad skill issue here, but in order for the, uh, the pacing of the video to not be terrible, um, I ended up just cutting all of the footage of me dying over and over again. It wasn't fun or entertaining to watch. I didn't have any interesting, uh, reactions or anything. It really was just me dying and being like, dang, this kind of sucks. I can't get through this. So I just ended up cutting it, and the, the footage that you're about to see will pick up after I enable the cheats, and I'll talk a little bit more about that after I get done with it at the end of the video. 
Uh, okay, enjoy. Bye. All right, hopefully with these two improbability discs enabled, I'll have a little bit of an easier time with this. But we'll have to see. Ooh, okay. I, I still feel like I can do this, though. I, I feel like... I definitely feel better about this. Like, earlier, my my melee attack speed was just nothing like it, it just went at a snail's pace and here i feel like i actually have the ability to more or less defend myself which is good that is as it should be Shouldn't let these, uh, these guys land so many shots off on me. It's inexcusable. Yeah, I'm noticing even, like, regular grunts can, uh, can take a few shots before they just, before they actually die, which is an interesting balance choice for, uh, something that's meant to be based off of Madness 3. But even then, I'm still kind of getting my butt whooped. But I feel better now. I, I feel like I can do this. It's just the guys with the guns that are the problem. Which is true for most things, I think. I think I should just actually start using guns. <laughs> Look at that guy, he just took like, like how many baseball bat hits until he finally decided to, uh, to keel over? And that's like with enhanced melee speed as well, and then he just did not feel like nine. But I finally made it past the first room, <laughs> everybody, yay, I did it. Where's my gold medal? I want that axe. Give me the axe. Uh, I guess a gun is just as good as an axe, right? Unfortunately, these guys love to block, so uh, it's it's a little difficult to actually do anything about them sometimes without effectively baiting them uh, into attacking. But we're getting there. By George, we're getting there. Alright, M16, how many shots left? Seven, I think I can make that work. Ow. Again. Like, I dodged. He's a grunt and he dodged a shotgun blast. That is. Oh, I'm outmatched. Only with the uh, the cheats enabled do I feel like evenly matched with these guys. The deagle is a blessing since uh, it seems to just kind of go through tack bars, which is pretty sweet. Who else? I wish I could see more than two feet in front of me. Not even two feet, like a foot. <laughs> A singular foot. That's all you get. That's all you get in terms of peripheral vision. Alright, what do we got? We got Uzis. We got MP5s. Do they all have garbage ammo? This one's got 18 rounds. I guess I can make that work. Alright, shotgun. Let's go for it. Um, this one took a minute. Oh, it's because there's like a million guys. Okay. Well, that sure felt like Madness 4, chopping through all the, the grunts on the dance floor like that. Deeg. It's Deeg time. Alright. Off we pop. 
How's the share? Yeah, I don't know how you're meant to do this with like the uh, the normal attack bar that you're given. You are given basically nothing. I think I think you might even be worse than a soul bat. Like I'm I'm only using two cheats here. I'm using Arnold and Wick, and this is kind of like the only way I feel like I have the ability to succeed. Oh, that's cool. It actually uh, played the animation of them of them. Uh, sawing through here and then jumping down. That was really cool. I actually really like that. Oh, and I want to see more of that. I wonder if that was animated from scratch or if they just kind of like took that from Madness 2 or, or Madness 3 or whatever episode it is where that happens. Either way, really cool. I should probably grab a gun that actually has ammo in it. Share a Walter PPK. Why not? Honestly, I just kind of want to punch because, like, guys can't block your punches. You, you can just go right through it. Oh, Mr. FN Foul here. You thought you were slick, but you wasn't. Okay. Uh, this has, like, no ammo in it. I'm sure that'll work. It's the Sheriff. Are you gonna actually shoot me, or...? Maybe we can talk this out. No? Not in the mood? Not not in a, a, a talkative mood, I see. Okay, okay. I, I, I see what's happening here. I guess I'll just punch you. Not a whole lot else I can do. Is that it? Oh, it's Jesus! That was surprisingly easy. You alright, man? <laughs> yeah, you went down pretty easy there. You wanna, you wanna, like, maybe get up, get some water, have some coffee, snack, get your energy back, and, and then maybe try that one again? No? Uh, Alright. Well, okay, um, that was weakness, so I'm probably going to end up cutting a fair amount of what I did actually record, because so much of that was just me dying over and over again in, like, the first room. Like, the, the character I was playing as was just so weak that I could not get past the first room, like... My attack bar was getting drained in like one to two melee hits or just like a couple bullets and when I tried to melee back, I didn't have the melee speed or strength in order to adequately defend myself against the enemies and speaking of the enemies, like these are guys who can dodge bullets and block and uh, take like quite a few shots before going down and it's like, dang, I feel... I feel like a grunt versus a bunch of engineers and soldats and I am struggling and when I actually buffed my character by enabling a couple of the cheats, immediately by default the campaign became way more <laughs> enjoyable uh, to play. So that's kind of where I'm at on that. I still really liked it, like it was a well designed campaign like in terms of the levels and like how it actually felt to go through it like compared to the other two like it flowed the nicest it was the best overall i just feel like the character being so weak really pulls it down and makes it a much more frustrating experience than it needs to be 
And I think either just buffing the player character or nerfing the enemies, and you automatically have a way more enjoyable experience. But that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys have any other mods for Madness Interactive Reloaded that you want me to check out on the channel, uh, leave a comment down below or maybe even shoot me a message over on Discord and, you know, I'll look into it and I'll consider it and we can probably get that done. I really enjoyed what I saw here and I'm interested in checking out other campaigns that people have made. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.